This next product has the You and Me staff mesmerized. Completely. Um, it's called the Tickle Me Plant. <laughs> it's a plant that reacts to you touching it. So uh, take a look at this. You can tickle me plant in the morning and watch me sleep at night. But don't forget to water me and give me plenty of light or leave my light. Watch it grow. Watch it wiggle. It's the sun that's green. It's the plant you can tickle. Yeah, and it's, it's really easy. I love this plant. I actually remember coming across these in Cincinnati when I was growing up in the conservatory and just thinking they were so cool. Um, they're yeah. fun to play okay, with. Okay, wait, can we try? And, yeah. you touch them? It can, a chain reaction can actually happen. Here, let's... Uh, I'll let's do one in the look, front. Yeah, let's pick one. I don't want to... Okay. So you can see the <gasps> leaves closing up there. That's and so And then cool. if you touch... I'm trying to see what we can see here. They'll drop down. Oh, oh wow. Like it looks so, like it's dying. Um, it, it might be a defense mechanism. They're not really sure exactly why it does it, but... Um, they think that maybe if an animal tries to eat it, it'll kind of go ahead and touch the whole thing. Yeah, it'll it'll really move. And then oh. what happens? Do they pop back? Later? It takes them a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they think that it might be a defense mechanism to scare an animal that might try to eat it, or if a bug lands on it, that it'll it'll fall off. Interesting. So, cool. oh, so wait, how do, do you know how it works? Like why? What what happens when you touch it? Um, all I really know is that um, there's water pressure against the cells inside, mm -hmm. and something tri after you touch it, uh, a chemical is released that makes the water vacate the cells ah. so that it can so that it can drop. Okay. okay. And how does yeah, how does the packaging come? So like we can get it for our kids, and do you get like a whole big thing like this? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can get just an individual one or, or packs like that, and it makes it really easy. Yeah, that's, that's actually a little greenhouse. The uh, the plastic that it comes in. Oh. So when you first plant it, it keeps it warm and moist so it can grow. Uh, but then you can take it out of there. And uh, they suggest, that, you know, they have a book that it comes with, and they suggest doing experiments with them for, for kids and stuff, so putting them in different lighting conditions. But do you think that could grow pretty? Um, they say they can grow, like, a couple feet tall and a couple feet wide. Huh, mm -hmm. so it's like a little bush. That yeah, sort of, so, so to speak. Cute. What are they interesting. And then where can you get these local, like, do they have them at Walgreens, like, um, in the, uh, the seen on TV? Garfield section? Park Conservatory gift shop has them locally. or TickleMePlant.com. Mm -hmm. That is so cute, Dustin. I can tell you, any parent with the little ones would just love that. And you know, we were talking yesterday about stuff to do with your kids through the end yep. of summer. And with the rain and the, you know, sun coming back and forth and stuff, this might be a good little, like, teaching them a green thumb thing, right? Oh, yeah. It, 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 they really, um, they're strong, they feel strongly about the importance of teaching kids, uh, you know, to be in, in touch with nature and everything. And I think that this is a good ambassador because, you know, you can actually react, you know, interact with it. This is really cool, Dustin. Yeah. See, you find cool stories and then make, make some of your own.